What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my lovely voice. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims, survivors, and the thrivers of said disorder, said toxic people, said toxic traits. Today's episode, y'all, is going to be about when a narcissist loses respect for you. When does a narcissist lose respect for you? Let me go ahead and stop you right there. Lee, I don't give a damn when they lose respect for us. We never we never respected the narcissist anyway, or they never respected us from the beginning. Y'all, just bear with me. Just let this, y'all, y'all, y'all know I'm going to make y'all. You already know what this video is going to be fire. So just stay tuned for the blaze. You know what I mean? Before I hop into this episode, y'all, check out the self-love brand, the I Love Me brand. I'm strong right here. I'm strong, thriving, all the other good stuff. But yeah, yeah, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Narcissistic, toxic people. When do they lose respect for you? So first of all, y'all, narcissists, a lot of narcissists do respect you in the beginning. They respect you more in the beginning than they do in the end. I'll say that. And the, 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 the opposite can be true from the... the the other person's perspective as well. The person dealing with the narcissist, the codependent person, whoever you are, you know, the opposite is true. No, the the most love you're going to get from a narcissist is typically in the beginning of the relationship as well. You know, the most love and respect and kindness you're going to get is typically going to be in the beginning, and it kind of all, kind of all goes downhill. A relationship with a narcissist typically starts at the peak. The beginning is probably the best it's going to get. You know what I mean? The beginning of a relationship with a narcissist is probably the best it's going to get. Um, best. <laughs> I'm writing this down, y'all. There's going to be a video. Best is going to get. <laughs> the beginning is the best it's going to get. So, they respect you in the beginning, y'all. Because, like, in the beginning of a relationship with y'all, with a narcissist, I, as a narcissist myself, I want, I, I do care about you. I do respect you. I do love you. I think you are the perfect person for me. I think you are all, all kind. You, you are, you make my, you light my life up. And I want to show you that you light my life up. I want you to feel like you light my life up, right? I want you, I want you to know that you light my life up, right? But when the love bombing phase ends, when the ideal, when the idealization phase ends is when things, things start to go downhill. When a narcissistic person who originally thought that you were perfect, starts to see your flaws as a human being and yes y'all we are all flawed human beings nobody is perfect you see what i'm saying nobody's perfect this is not me trying to take shots at anybody i know i'm not perfect nobody on this earth is perfect you see what i'm saying so in that situation in that dynamic in that circumstance right there the narcissistic person once they start to see your flaws they think you lied to them so during the devaluation phase when you when they start to see your flaws they start to lose respect for you then. You know what I mean? They start to disrespect you. They start to devalue you. Once they see your flaws, they feel like you lied to them. You've been dishonest to me about who you are. You presented a different person to me than who I thought you were. And I know what y'all are gonna say. Lee, that's exactly what the narcissist does. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. You, you see how the project, you see how projection works? You see, well, lesson two guys, projection. No, I'm joking. but. That, you, but you see how that works right there. You understand the dynamic. You see the mindset of it all right there. You see, that's where it goes. Like they think you lied to them because they were lying to you. You see what I'm saying? They look at you like you were perfect, but now they feel like you disrespected them and you lied to me. Now you're revealing your true. Now you are reveal, revealing your true colors. So it's time for me to reveal mine. You know. So yeah, they lose respect for you. They start to devalue you. They start to give you less. Give you less of everything, including respect, including honesty, including love and affection. They start to give you less. And y'all, there's no set timetable on this either because that's a question a lot of people ask me. How long does this phase last? How long does it last? There's no set timetable on when they start to see you differently. They can start to see you differently a weekend, a month in, a year in. There's no set timetable. And even if they start seeing you differently early on, there's no guarantee that they, they will start treating you differently early on. Because a lot of times we start like we kind of like narcissists in our heads, we kind of gaslight ourselves to just say, no, I'm seeing things. That's not who they really are. Like I'm seeing so I'm convincing myself that there's something is wrong with them. You see, some narcissists gaslight themselves. 
So the gaslight you too, you sell it. <laughs> Narcissists lie and gaslight themselves as well. Lie, lie to and gaslight themselves as well. You know. So in a lot of these situations, in a lot of these spaces, in a lot of these dynamics, it goes like that, y'all. They want you to feel a certain type of way, so they, they take it away. They start stripping you of that love. They start stripping you of that care. They start stripping you of that affection and things of that nature. They start stripping it from you. They don't feel like you deserve it. Keep it hot. Let's keep it hot. They don't feel like you deserve it, so they take it from you. They want to take it from you. They want to strip it from you because they don't feel like you deserve it. They feel like anybody else other than, anybody else in this world deserves it other than you. And I know that sucks to say. I know that sucks to be a part of, but I'm just being honest with you, y'all. That's how it goes. They are, they start to lose respect for you. And one of the main moments, like they start to lose respect for you in the beginning. Once they, once you reveal your true colors, you die, you dastardly empathetic person. You dastardly, uh, <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? They start to look at you differently. So they start to lose respect for you then. But here is one of the main moments, y'all. And did, please bear with me and also understand that my intent here is to not disrespect y'all. I know my, it might, the impact might be different. Y'all know I'm always, I'm always impact over intent. My intentions here are to just tell you to be, be real and honest with you right here, y'all. So I'm not, I hope the impact is good, but you know what I mean? So one of the main times that a narcissist will lose respect for you is when you put up with their stuff. Is when you keep forgiving them and you keep taking them back, no matter what they do to you. They look, they look at you. They start to look down on you more and more and more. You see what I'm saying? The more that you, the more that you ride or die for this person, the less they, they care about you, the less they respect you. You know, the more, first of all, they, they don't respect you if they are cheating on you or putting their hands on you, whatever they're doing, they don't respect you in that mindset anyway. But when they start doing, like, so when they start exemplifying it, when they start putting it out there, they, they don't care like that. That hurts more. You see what I'm saying? That does, they can do more damage to you right there, you know, because a lot of people, a lot of times in these situations, that's what happens, y'all. You mean, that's what happens. Like the more you forgive them for doing heinous things to you, the more you forgive them for lying, the more you take them back for lying, the more you take them back or put up with their sitting on the couch being bums or whatever, the more you put up with them lying to you or still talking to their exes or liking Facebook statuses that you Instagram pictures that you ask them not to do, the more that you tolerate y'all, the less they respect you. And this is not me trying to victim blame, this is me just being realistic with you. Because in the mindset of a lot of narcissistic people, that's exactly, this literally, going on right now that's literally the dynamic y'all sorry i got distracted I, uh, my daughter loves paw patrol and i just got an email from skies on my paw patrol um <laughs> but that's how it goes though y'all a lot of times narcissistic people the more that you put up with them the more that they just yeah the, the, the less they care the more you tolerate the less they care the more you tolerate the less i have to repeat it y'all like a mantra the more you put up with, the less they care. The more that you tolerate, the less they care. And I'm trying to get it through to y'all. Because I know so many people are just like, oh, I'm going like, they like the more you tolerate for them, y'all, they, they, they're not going to see your value. I promise you. Once they lose respect for you, they don't regain it. They might pretend to regain it. They might pretend to give you love and care and affection that you deserve. They might pretend to care. They might pretend to change for a little while. But over time, they go right back to doing what they were doing. You know? They go right back to doing what they, what they were doing because they feel empowered to do it now. And they get bored. I'm, telling, I'm just being realistic with you. The more you forgive them, the less they can be sinister and get away with stuff. The more that they just don't talk, they don't, the, the less they respect you and things of that nature. You know what I mean? It goes like that. There's literally a bird on my ring doorbell. <laughs> literally a bird just set my ring doorbell off. Um, but yes, that's what I'm just saying, y'all. The more you take them back, the, the more they look down on you. The less they respect for you. The, the less respect that they have for you. And I know that sounds weird because a lot of people would think of the, a lot of people would think opposite. A lot of people would think like, well, I, for, I forgave them. So shouldn't they? Shouldn't I get bonus points for, for giving them? At first, you might. At first, they might, damn, you really are understanding. But the more times they keep doing the same thing over and over again, the more that they can leave you and they can leave you for somebody else and come back to you, the more they can cheat on you and you find out and you forgive them, the more that they can ghost you for months and abandon the kids and you let them right back in your life. I'm just saying, you see what I'm saying? The less 
They respect you. That's what I'm just telling people. That's what, even, but here's the here's the kicker right here, y'all. Even if you start standing up for yourself, even if you kick them out and don't let them come back, they don't. They don't. They still won't respect you like they used to. Once it's gone, it's gone. They still don't respect you like they used to. Now, if you stand, if you keep your boundaries strong as hell, they have to have respect for some of those boundaries, especially if you get the law involved and you just stand, if you're standing steadfast and you have a support system and backup, they, they have to respect those a lot of times. But they, but overall, they will never get the respect back they originally had for you in the beginning. You know, so empower yourself, y'all. Empower yourself to move forward. Take the steps necessary to be as strong as you possibly can. Do I get love? That's why I got that shirt. I'm strong. You know what I mean? Do I got the self love? Do I got the self love journal? It's on Amazon to help you rebuild that self love. You are stronger than you think you are. Be stronger. Be better. And do you do your thing, y'all. Anyways, thank y'all so much for tuning into another episode. I have some one on ones I have to do, y'all. Um, make sure y'all tune in every single Thursday evening. This evening. To my live show, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, of um, my live show about being discarded by a narcissist. Live guest show. We're telling stories. We have guests come through, show support. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Mental illness is out. Peace. Thanks for making it to the end of my video, y'all. If you haven't already, check out joining the channel memberships for behind the scenes perks, uh, priority responses to the comments, and a few other things. Link in the description of every single video I do. Thank you so much.